hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video first of all i want to appreciate you and thank you all for a new year and a new beginning and i pray that this year will be a better for you whatever you want to do you shall prosper for you thank you so much for following and i want to also say that you have been a good fans on this channel so let's get started now go to your file and select new then i'm going to use 4 by 4 inches and leave your resolution at 300 then you click on grid then i'm going to copy the gradient color i'm going to use in this tutorial then ctrl plus c to copy and um, go to your gradient color Then select this one, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then go back to the color, then make a copy of this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then select this one and increase the opacity to 100%. Then you will have something like this, then you click on OK. And over there, then you will see the angle here. The angle is 53.7. So I'm going to copy it, then come over to this angle, then paste it. So you can see the changes over here. All right. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to import the church logo. Then reduce the size. Then take it up over here. Then copy the church name. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool or you press T using the keyboard. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. I'm going to change the font to poppins. then make use of medium and over here then you have to then increase the space something like this then reduce the font size all right and bring this one closer to it then reduce it okay then go back to your test document and make a copy of this one then you can duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you bring it down then select your test to ctrl plus a to alight then ctrl plus v to paste then increase the character spacing something like this then Reduce the size. Go to your infert and apply drop shadow. Then over here, then I will increase the opacity to 100%. Then apply this um, settings you are seeing here. The distance is 5, the spread is 2, and the size is 9. So click OK to apply it. Then I'm going to select the two, then Ctrl plus A to select all, apply vertical alignment to centralize it, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. So having done that one now, then you go back to your test document and I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test tool. Then remove the character spacing to 0% and also change the fonts to this font here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. 
increase the font size something like this all right then you go to your your layer effect or blending option then i'm going to grade an effect on it then select your gradient tool and over here this is the gradient color so you can see then i'm going to apply it and over here is the code for the gradient color then apply angle by 50 percent so now come to the angle and apply 50 percent then you will see a change that occur over there all right so now and i'm going to click on uh, okay the opacity then you can reduce it to 90 percent or 94 percent will be okay 94 percent is okay and um, i'm going to change the blending mode to multiply to multiply all right then click ok to apply it then i forget to apply the drop shadow then drop shadow I will increase this one to 12 then the spread I'm going to make it 13 and the size 32 then take this back to normal and click OK so you can see the effect of the shadow now all right so the next thing to do now then I'm going to copy this one Control plus c to copy then duplicate this one Control plus j to duplicate then i'll bring it here select your test to highlight it then Control plus v to paste and i'm going to remove this layer style now reduce the size Then I'm going to use SF Galaxy font on this. Then change it to italic. Then make a duplicate of this one, Ctrl plus J. Then copy your test. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then make a duplicate of this one. Then go back to your test document and copy this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. All right, so having done this one now, so the next thing, then apply test effects on it. So go to your blending option, then go to inner glow, then and apply this color you are seeing here. So on your test document, then you will find this inner glow color over here, then and the gradient color is here. So now I'm going to make a copy for this. Then go to your gradient color. Then select this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. And now we delete this one. Delete this one. Delete this one. Then go back to the second one. Make a copy of this. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now you can apply it. So on the test now, then the 
bleeding mode is normal, then the opacity is 43, then the angle 0, or you can make use of 90% or 90 degree on the angle over there. So then go to your drop shadow and over here, then the drop shadow, the opacity is 80%. And the distance is 5, the spread 2, and the size is 9. Then you can now click OK. So now what I will do is to right click, then make a copy of the layer style, then right click on this one, paste it, right click on this one, then you paste the layer style. So then we move forward now i'm going to import the image i'm going to use in this tutorial so now i will bring this one then reduce the size Then go to your image, then apply adjustment brightness. Then you brighten the image a little. Then apply the constructs. Something like this. It's okay. Then apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool. You press G using the keyboard. Then go to this color. Make sure that you change it to black and white before then you can apply your blending all right okay then go back again then to import this one then reduce the size and i'm going to drag this one back then i will position this one over here then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and blend it then this is what you will have so this tool now i'm going to click on it then right click and convert it to smart object for easy editing Okay, then I'm going to open the smart object, then select this image. Now go back to your image adjustments, then apply brightness. Then also the constructs, click OK. Then go back to the same image adjustment, then you apply this vibrance. It's okay then close it and save it so you can see the changes there now all right so having done this one now the next thing i'm going back to the name then copy this one select your test tool Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to change the font to Tuesday night. Something like this. Then apply orange or yellow color. And reduce the size. Then go back to your test document and make a copy of this one. Select your test tool, then change the font to poppins, then also make it semi bold, then Ctrl plus V to paste, 
then over here i'm going to break this one i like this one and change the font to white then reduce the font size then make a copy of this one then ctrl plus j to duplicate this then now we bring it down select your test to highlight it to highlight is ctrl plus a to highlight Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Hold your shift key while you select this. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Now I'm going to take this one to this position. Then come over here to make a copy. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Alright. Then go back to your test documents and make a copy of this one. Then highlight this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. So something like this. All right so now the next thing to do then is to to create the team then select your test tool and i'm going to duplicate this one over here or you can press ctrl plus j or you drag it over here to make a duplicate then i will take it up something like this then change the font color to white now i'm going to type it manually then i will rotate it this way okay then go back to your test select your test tool and i'm going to change the the font to sf distance galaxy then and type total Increase it. Alright, so click like this. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Victory. Then hold your shift key while you select the two tests. Then apply vertical alignment to centralize it. Then you can increase the size. Then the team, you can bring it and position it over here. Then hold your shift key while you select it. Then you can use your arrow key then to bring it down okay now then the next thing to do i'm going to group this one ctrl plus g or you drag it over here then it will group automatically okay then i'm going to apply test effects 
So as you select it, then go to your blending option. Also apply this inner glow then and the shadow to it okay so after you are done with this then the next thing then you click ok then i'm going to apply this image you can reduce the size it's okay like this right click and create a clipping mask then you will have something like this all right so i'm going to remove that team from inside here so as you can see now the team is not part of this effect okay then i'm going to draw a rent angle over here then apply red color so on this one now then i'm going to apply this image on it then right click and create a clipping mask then go to your filter, go to blur, Gaussian blur, then make use of 16.6 to blur it. Change the blending mode to add lights. So you can see the changes over there. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do now, then I'm going to make a copy on this that is the location then go back to your resource document and uh, drag this one reduce the size then ctrl plus u for hue and saturation then you drag this one to apply it to white column then select your test tool then change the font to poppins ctrl plus v to paste now reduce the font size all right then go back again and i'm going to copy this for time I did so the first one I will make my copy from here then select your rent angle draw it this way then change the color to yellow then you can zoom into that you will see it very well and I'm going to bring this icon for the date. Then you position it inside. Now make a duplicate of this. Then you bring it over here while you drag it up here. Then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste then make it bold then apply superscript on this also this one increase the font size all right then come over here to make a copy of this one 
then select your test tool Ctrl plus J to paste I mean Ctrl plus V to paste then change the font to this yellow over here Reduce the font size Okay So Having done this one now, so the next thing now Is to make a copy of this one Then you drag it up Then hold your shift key while you drag this one over here. Then go to your resource document and bring this one. Reduce the size. Something like this. Then I will make a copy of this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you drag it up over here. Then you bring it, position it over here. Then select your test tool, highlight it, and come over here to make a copy of this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then go back and make a copy of this. Then duplicate this one. Then you drag it over here, highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the size of this one. Then I'll select this one. Increase the size. Alright, so now I'm going to select this one by holding your shift key. Then I will drag this one over here. Then hold your shift key. Then you select this one. Increase the size. Then these two over here, I'm going to reduce the size. Then select the location, then apply a space. Okay, then increase the size. So something like this. So now we are going back to the background now. Then import this one for the background. Then go to your filter, then go to your blog, Gaussian blog, then apply 7.0. And change the blending mode to soft light. Okay. Then the second one, then apply this worship image. Then flip it horizontal. Then you drag it over here like this. Then apply your layer mask. Then you select your brush while you blend over here, something like this. Okay, so if you want, then you can reduce the opacity to 
maybe 25 percent but as it is now then there is no need then i'm going to leave it this way all right so the next thing now then i'm going to bring this image this one over here then i will drag it down to the background okay so increase the size this way then go to your filter select blur and the gaussian blur all right then apply 16.6 then you click okay then you will have something like this now then you can change the blending mode to any of your choice right here so any one you want then you can change it to so for me now i'm going to use either this soft light or overlay so if you don't want then you can leave it on on this normal then first i'm going to apply my layer style and blend over here then another thing and i'm going to import this oil here then i'm going to flip it horizontal then position it at the top like this then change the blending mode to vivid so you can see right vivid and uh, the opacity i'm going to reduce it to 30 percent then you will see something like this now apply your layer mask and select your brush then you can now brush over here so like i said then you can come over to this one then and change any of the blend mode that you want okay so if you want it this way either multiply so then i'm going to make use of this soft light over here then after you select this multiply then there is a need for you to reduce the opacity of this your oil here again all right so having done that one now so the next thing i'm going to do then i'm going to bring this v3 logo so it's at the top and i'm going to drag it down then reduce it position it over here then and change the blending mode to vivid vivid light then this oil i'm going to change it from vivid to divide so that divide now then i will make the opacity to be 30 then now you can see it then on this realistic image i'm going to leave it at normal so then i will position this one like this something like this all right okay so as you can see i don't think that is all in this tutorial so thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe then and uh, share it then i will also encourage you to follow 
my membership channel so that whatever i'm going to distribute to my fans then it will also be part of it so please don't forget that join the membership channel then thank you so much